All right, what is going on, everyone? W Drums here. We're back doing another path guide review. This time we are doing the first ever path guide for one of the new and only dark core uh, regular Skylanders, Blackout. Dark Cannot stars. wait to show you this guy, man. I'm almost sad to reset him because Your he's doing tri pretty terrific with just this path alone. So he's level four. He is of the dark element. So let's go to stats. Uh, he was really lacking armor being the most important thing for me. So I gave him the classic pot hat, which you can get from chapter 17, the Golden Queen level. And um, yeah, it balanced him out a bit more. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with that. Casting Powers. Here we go. Shadow. So we've got wing whip. Press Y to perform a wing whip. Press Y, Y, Y for a combo attack. I love his wings in this game. Like, the way they animated them, they're just, like, just really thin and, like, elastic, kind of, and just, oh, they're so cool. I just, I don't know how to explain them. They're very different. Next, Shadow Orbs. Press A to shoot Shadow Orbs, which leave behind Darkness Energy Shockwaves. They come out of his horn. Black Hole. Press X to open up black holes that pull enemies in. Hold and release X to teleport yourself. Darkness Overlord. Overload. Uh, shoot a shadow orb into a black hole to create an explosive eruption. Shadow Blade. Jump and press Y to turn into a spinning shadow blade. He kind of looks like, like a sea urchin kind of thing or a spiky ball from uh, Kirby or something like that. Take it black. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, black holes hold enemies longer and they do more damage. I chose the top path this time called the Wing Warrior. So we've got a spinning finish. Press Y, Y, Y for a ground pound combo. Press Y, 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 Y to charge ahead as a shadow blade. Whip it up. Wing Whip, Shadow Blade, and Warp Speed attacks do more damage. Warp Speed. Hold Y to repeatedly teleport through enemies and piercing them with your horn. I love this. It's really cool. He just like claws the heck out of them. Like Captain Kuru from uh, One Piece, if anyone ever saw that. If not, whatever. <laughs> and here's his Soul Gem. Supernova Black Hole. Shoot two black holes on top of each other to create a Supernova Black Hole. So let me just check this one more attack that was that I gotta remember. Press and and then hold and release. Okay. Alright, so without further ado, I bring you blackout. Darkness falls. Here we go. Let's -a go. Lob goblin. Lob goblin, my boy. Pirate artillery, I got. Here we go. Watch out. That's the black hole. I didn't mean to do that yet. <laughs> so here's his wing attacks. His wings are just like liquids. It's crazy. So there's one of the combos. There's the smash combo. This is my favorite combo that he has. So now watch closely. You just let it go. You can just keep buzzsawing him. It's pretty epic. Look at that. And the cool thing is I can keep teleporting back into these things. He's pretty beastly. Now watch this. The orbs. They shoot these mini, uh... Not black holes, but like, uh... Wormholes, I guess you can call them. I don't know. Shot waves, whatever. Now watch this. This is my teleport attack. You see where I am? I barely went anywhere at all. Look at this. He just slices through him like butter, man. That is nasty. Alright, so now let's try out the, the soul gem if we can pull it off. It's a little tricky. 
Ah, it's so hard with these freaking chill builds, man. They ruin everything. Go. Get ready for some. Alrighty. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Alright, let's try to do the, uh, the soul gem. It's a little tricky to activate, so watch closely. You have to be that precise and then shoot into it. Ah, oh, they don't ruin it. Crap. They did ruin it. Son of a gun. Crap, come on. <laughs> Did I set it off? Ah, oh, come on. It's tricky to use this soldier because you have to be so, like, perfectly still. You gotta, like, aim perfectly. There we go. Watch this. And then that finisher he does at the end, what was that, 450 something damage? It's ridiculous. He's so good. Like, this guy is ridiculous, man. I love this attack though, where he just teleports and just slices you with no end, that's nasty. It's hard to put them together. You gotta like do it a correct distance kind of thing or else it's very tricky to pull off. But his teleporting comes in handy big time. He's quite good though. If you stand perfectly still like I just did, you're fine. There we go. See that? 450 damage. That's ridiculous. If you can land it and have the patience to hold out for it, it's ridiculous. And he just finds like everything in sight and just demolishes it, man. I'm curious to see what the... Uh, Prince of Darkness path does because right now he's not that good with his uh, orb attack. It just kind of is there. Doesn't have much strength to it. So maybe it'll get better. Like just look at that though. The way he just randomly just goes at you, man. You are done if he catches you in that. I love it. There we go. Ah, oh, no. Bro. Blood. Oh, I want to die. That teleporting though is ridiculous. You just keep clicking X, it'll just keep going back and forth in it. It's gonna be a real shame I'm gonna have to reset this guy, because I like him on this path, but I think the orbs could do more, which is on the other path, so. But there he is, man. Blackout on his Wing Warrior path, man. It's ridiculous. It really is a great path. I might buy a second one of these, just because... I think he's incredible. Like, this path was incredible, and this isn't even supposed to be the best path, so I'm blown away. So let me know in the comments what you thought about the review. I thought I covered everything pretty well this time. <laughs> um, just thanks for watching, everyone. Definitely get yourself a blackout for sure, and have a good one. God bless. Peace!